Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 20 of my Copper Step Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we'll be painting up some of the struts I forgot to do initially. We're using our trusty Vallejo 70.828 wood grain for this. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we have the struts done. Once it dries, has a coat of my homebrew varnish, they'll look the part. Now, for some deckling. I have my trusty set and sole brushes, kindly sent to me by my good friend Mark Bridge. We'll be doing the engine cowl, prop, instrument dials and the tail. So, let's crack on, shall we? Here's the decal on the cowl. These are really nice. Very thin, a bit delicate, but really nice. There we have the cockpit dials in. I also lied, we're not doing the tail just yet. What we are going to be doing is attaching the tail to the tail booms. I'm using the usual mix of CA and black CA. So here we go with this. Good lord, what a shenanigans that was! What should have taken us 5 minutes, actually took us 20! <sighs> Anywho, it's in place and glued. We also used some extra thin just to help. So, we're going to pop that over there to set. Next up, we're going to finally be putting the decals on the tail. So, let's crack on and get that done.
There we go, that's the decals for the tail done. Now to glue the rudder horns onto, guess what? Yep, the rudder. The name sort of gives it away, doesn't it? Then we're going to glue the elevators to the rest of the tail section. So let's crack on with that, shall we? Just a quick note, be careful here as it's very easy to get the elevators mixed up, as you can see. There we go, that's the elevators glued in place. And continued along the lines of the elevators, we're going to be doing the rigging lines for that. So, let's get the elevator lines done. There we have the elevator rigging done. I have to say, putting the masking tape on the stick under the fuselage saved me from breaking that thing on multiple occasions. Now, we can look at the rudder horns and, yeah, well, that wasn't glued very well, was it? Right, we'll get that glued back on and crack on with cleaning up the edges of the rudders. There we have all the edges of the rudder cleaned up. Next, to mount them on the tail assembly. But before we do that, we have to drill a few more holes around the place. And you can bet your bottom dollar I've missed some. I think the major thing I've taken away from this build is to pre-drill all your holes before you build the damn thing. Saves a lot of heartache. Anyway, let's crack on. Thank you. 
that's those holes drilled. We didn't fit the rudder as I realised I hadn't done the tail boom rigging lines that attached to the tail assembly and I didn't want to knock those too much. So I had to cut a few more tubes to length and make a few more eyelets. I did that off camera. I am sure you've seen enough of me making those already. Now we have those, we can get those lines done. So here we go with those. More holes missed. There we have the rear tail boom rigging line complete. It's still looking good. Nothing has dropped or sagged so far. Now for the cross members at the front of the aircraft. These attach the fuselage to the front skid part of the tail boom. So let's get these fitted, shall we? That's those cross members glued in place using our usual CA mix. Now for more rigging. This time the tail boom front section to the front wings, both top and bottom. So let's get these cracked, shall we?
So there we have the tail boom connected to the front wings as well as the tail assembly. That was uh, interesting. I think the hardest part for me was figuring out where to pick the aircraft up by. Yeah, that was fun. You can see me dithering in the video. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. I know it's been a little bit longer. Thank you for sticking with it. And also apologies for not putting a video out last week as I was really busy with real life. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. An apology for not putting out a video last week, but I was up to my ears in real life. Thank you for watching this extended version of episode 20. If you want to see what happens in episode 21, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>